All right. A kid gets transferred to a new school, and he's at lunch the first day. So he's got his little cafeteria tray, takes it over to this table. So a guy sits next to him and yells out, 31. Everybody starts laughing. Then another kid stands up and says, 51. Even bigger laughs. Huge laughs. This one kid, like some milk, squirts out of his nose. Everybody's just laughing. The new kid asks his classmate sitting next to him at the lunch table, What the heck is going on? And the guy says, well, we've only got one joke book in the library. One joke book. Everybody checks it out and everyone knows it by heart. So now, instead of telling the whole joke, all you have to do is stand up and say the number. Everybody gets it. it saves a lot of time. Because it takes a long time to tell a joke. Kind of a, kind of a waste of time. The kid uh, thinks this is a pretty funny idea. All I have to do is memorize a number. This is my chance. This is my key to my popularity. He goes down to the library, checks out the joke book. Memorizes his favorite jokes and their numbers. There's one that's about this penguin who's, who's driving a car, right? And uh, some, some smoke starts coming out of the hood. Anyway, it's a long joke. Um, the next day at lunch, the same thing happens. The seventh grader yells out, 44. Everybody laughs. And this guy's like, all right, he's just waiting for his moment. An eighth grader yells out, 27. Huge laughs. The place goes crazy. And the kid knows, new kid knows, this is my chance. And he stands up, right? And he yells out, 38. 38. 38. 38. 38. And it's quiet. No laughs. Dead silence. You can hear the crickets. The new kid turned to his classmate and says, what happened? The guy shrugs. Leans over and says, well, you know, some people just can't tell a joke.